Hello gamers, this is Sai, and welcome back to Which Way Games. Now, why should you never underestimate your opponent? Mommy, Daddy button. Oh, now that looked like it hurt. And with that being said, let's go with the video. Yep, yep, now you've got the hook shot, at the bottom of Lake Hylia, you'll find the Water Temple. Yep, you use the hook shot to gain entry. Sorry about this, why be a moment? Yep, okay, cool, yeah, I'll speak to you later. Oh, right, now back in the 90s, especially in the arcade, there were two legendary fighting games that divided gamers. Oh, really? One was the infamous Street Fighter 2, and the other was the Bloodfield Mortal Kombat. But to appreciate the popularity surrounding these two games at the time, we have to go back to where it all started. The arcade of the late 80s and the early 90s was a wonderland filled with many different games, each finding themselves being surrounded by gamers of all ages. Some of the arcade classics came in the form of Captain Commando, Outrun, and the gunslinging Sunset Riders. But in February of 1991, a brand new game entered the arcade that had gamers crowding around the cabinet full of excitement. <gasps> now one-on-one -on -one fighting had been done before with the likes of Karate Champ and the arcade version of Punch-Out. But with Street Fighter 2, the art of fighting had reached a whole new level. That infamous intro music became one of the sounds of the arcade alongside so many others but it was the gameplay that really brought the gaming crowd in. They would flock around the arcade cabinets, each waiting for their turn, while others would just watch and take in the magic surrounding this new fighting game. Gamers could choose between eight memorable characters, each with a distinctive fighting style, and combining the gameplay with the combo system made Street Fighter 2 a near-perfect arcade fighting game. Such was the popularity of Street Fighter 2 that it made that leap from the arcade into the homes of gamers. The various ports of Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior, became a massive success for the system it found itself on. And although not every version was arcade quality, that magic surrounding Street Fighter 2 was still there. Capcom's hugely popular fighting game was flying high, especially thanks to the Champion Edition. But it was in October of 1992 that a new contender entered the arcade, ready to take the crown away from Street Fighter 2. No, God, please, no, no! Mortal Kombat momentarily silenced the arcade upon its arrival, very much like when Michael Jackson entered Club 30s. Then with a single phrase, that silence was broken. Mortal Kombat! Attention was all on Midway's new fighting game, which took the concept of one-on-one -on -one fighting and added a touch of violence mixed with gore. Gamers of the arcade were introduced to fatality, such as ripping the spine out of the opponent or setting them on fire with a deadly kiss. Each title was popped with the gamers of the arcade, who couldn't get enough of these two now legendary fighting games. One corner of the arcade had a gathering round Street Fighter 2, while the other had a crowd round Mortal Kombat. And very much like Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat also made that leap from the arcade onto video game consoles at home. The ports of Mortal Kombat differed slightly compared to its arcade counterpart, and although these were as faithful as they could be, the home ports of Mortal Kombat were heavily censored. Now not to be outdone by the popularity surrounding Mortal Kombat, Capcom released Super Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, which some regards the pinnacle of the series. Street Fighter 2 was still remaining the champion of the arcade. However, thanks to Mortal Kombat, this prestigious title was now on the line. The fight for dominance in the arcade could be felt between these two fantastic titles, with gamers still undecided as who can claim to be the best arcade fighting game of the early 90s. A hard decision to make indeed, 
but in April of 1993, Mortal Kombat 2 entered the arcade, shaking the very building to its core. Even more characters than before were introduced, each with their own special moves. As you can imagine, the arcade was buzzing with excitement, but in the second instalment, the gore had been turned up even more, and the increase with violence caused controversy. <laughs> There were now several versions of Street Fighter 2, and Mortal Kombat had a super violent sequel. The arcade was the place to be. Shut up and take my money! Gamers were continuing to form large crowds around the arcade cabinets. However, the gathering seemed somewhat larger around Mortal Kombat 2. Was this the final round for Street Fighter 2? Oh, great Scott! Clearly not, as Street Fighter 2 came out of its corner kicking and punching, with the release of Super Street Fighter 2. For some gamers of the arcade, Super Street Fighter 2 was the pinnacle of the series and proving to gamers around the world that Street Fighter 2 was still the champion of the arcade, Capcom would release Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo several months later. Some gamers I know class Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo as the best in the series, especially when they got to play as the super violent Akuma. <laughs> Now there was a third instalment to the Mortal Kombat series, but I'll save that for my Mortal Kombat retrospective out later this year. Oh, come on! Overall, the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter 2 series of games each have their own legions of fans, who adore these two franchises that have continued to remain popular many decades later. While one focuses on over-the-top violence, the other takes the art of fighting to a whole new level. What I'd love to see one day is these two games going up against other fighters in an all-out brawl. Maybe an idea for a future video. You teasing me, naughty naughty. Out of these two legendary fighting games, which would be my favourite? It's a difficult choice to make, but I'd have to say my favourite between the two would be... Hello cartoon guy, what's up? What do you mean you're stuck in the water temple? It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. Are you crying? Okay, calm down, stop crying. Yeah, I'll come round, I'll sort it out. Uh, about 10 minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll see you soon. Idiot. Anyway, come back next time, where a champion will rise from the grave in order to defeat an evil sorcerer. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next game.